Hello, today we're going to take a look at uh, what we do with the uh, scan data that we've captured inside of Geomagic uh, Capture for SOLIDWORKS uh, after we've scanned it. So this is a very basic uh, walkthrough of uh, the process of taking our point cloud data that we've captured and turning that into one solid mesh that we can in turn in a later video uh, turn into a CAD file. So if you'll notice here we have two point clouds uh, that I've brought in to simulate what we'll get when we actually do the scanning procedure and uh, once we have those point clouds uh, sometimes everything will align correctly you know uh, a, lot, a lot of times we can just very easily come in and tell the uh, capture to scan and then as we move our part around we can uh, generate all that 3D data very quickly and very easily uh, and it'll automatically align that together without having to use this function but uh, in certain instances and in certain areas on parts we'll have to do this alignment to get all of our data correct uh, so we'll cover the actual scan process uh, in another video but this particular portion will show what we'll do when we have two scans that need to be turned into one solid model uh, and are out of orientation with one another as we can see here. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is press align objects. Then we want to make one object fixed which we can uh, see by this anchor beside our polygon icon and then we're going to make one object or at least one object floating so whichever fixed object or group of fixed objects you choose will not move throughout this whole process then all of the floating objects will be uh, translated over into where the fixed object is the way we do that is using the uh, pick point pairs to align command which uh, if you notice here we have these two parts, they are inverted from each other, um, but we can very easily see some common points uh, that we can use for alignment. For instance, with this one, we'll do our uh, point one here up at that corner. Uh, then let's take the center of this guy, and then also close to this cylinder here and then we'll do the same thing over here now it's important that these points are ordered correctly so one needs to be in the same place as one on the other scan two in the same place as two on this scan and then three in the same place as three on the other scan as well so now that all those are matched and you do need a minimum of three points we can press align uh, it's going to automatically get those close and then the optimize alignment is going to make sure that everything is perfectly matched to each other. So once we check that off, now we can come into our merge function. If we select our two scans um, by pressing control and selecting both of them, we can come into our merge function, tell it to output a mesh, uh, noise reduction we won't worry about for now, uh, mesh triangles, uh, no bigger than a million is generally what I recommend. Um, for the advanced tools, we do want any overlap removed as well as um, needing a number of max holes. We can just leave that as def default for 25. That's just to ensure that we don't have any uh, random holes that aren't necessarily there in our scanned object. So we'll go ahead and press check and it's going to run through this process of meshing this object. Now we chose merge instead of wrap. Wrap will build just a single STL out of each individual object. So instead of one solid mesh, we'd be left with two meshes. For the majority of modeling purposes, you'll want a fully solid model from your part. Uh, so because of that, we'll want to use the merge function rather uh, and that's going to merge the two point clouds into one sole solid mesh okay so once 
we've gone ahead and uh, told it to do that merge now you'll notice we have a nice clean solid model so uh, you know this is definitely an ideal and optimal model here uh, you may have some different facets different pieces hanging around um, if you do have some pieces that you want to clean up on your model uh, we can use that using these mesh tools which allow us to repair uh, this is our mesh doctor uh, inside of this we can repair the file of any sort of uh, overlapping uh, areas and spikes and whatnot uh, we can uh, do some hole filling which is this fill tool we can also smooth it out to clean it up a little bit for mod modeling and then uh, we can get rid of any detached triangles so any parts of the scan data that aren't necessarily supposed to be there uh, we can very easily come in and remove so that's a basic overview of the pre-modeling tools used inside of the geomagic capture wizard uh, so if you have any further questions regarding uh, how the system works feel free to contact us here at go measure 3d thank you very much and have a great day